we still want to look good and feel good. Because you do look in the mirror and it is a different person physically. One piece of advice to my younger self. <laughs> Got that last question. The best thing about being 52 is that I am happy in my own skin today. I don't care what you think about me, really. I mean, I care a bit, but not like I used to. I'm not obsessed with it. I have the wisdom of five decades on this planet and enough youth to be able to enjoy that. I still have loads of energy. My kids are getting older, so I'm a bit freer. I have such a sense of who I am today and what I want to achieve that I never had in my 30s or even my 40s. Honestly, 50s, they really rock. I think it is hard. It is hard particularly more for women than men um, because men are silver foxes and that's like, you know, really cool. And women are just grey. It's just even different language. Confidence to me now means not apologising for being who I am, not apologising for being dynamic and not apologizing for being a successful black woman. When I was brought up by my parents who first came here from the Caribbean, the instructions were, don't, don't bring shame on the house. Don't get, you know, make me embarrassed. And so you, you maneuver yourself around negativity. So I won't and I don't. And then you find, well, hang on a minute. What about the things I do want to do? What about the things that I do like? So for a long time, I used to feel almost like an imposter being good at my job, but my dynamics are God-given, so I'm going to embrace them and share them for other people to embrace as well. I as well think confidence is about self-acceptance. I spent years trying to change my body and make it something smaller than it is. And actually with self-acceptance has come such an empowerment and a confidence and just a sense of, well, here I am. I honestly feel more beautiful today than I've ever felt in my life. I mean, that, and that's, even saying that makes me think, well, that's a weird thing to say because we're told that Beauty is only a young thing with a perfect skin thing. And yet here I am at 52 going, actually, I feel beautiful today. And oh my God, I didn't when I had that perfect skin. Be yourself. Age, it is just a number, but it's also a feeling. And I think there was a time when you hit a certain age where you thought, right, that's it. I better give up. I think it's the reverse now. Right, I've hit a certain age. How can I live longer? How can I live happier? How can I live more peacefully? So let me look at what I'm eating, what I'm drinking. Let me exercise. That is an investment in my body to make me feel good. So as opposed to I'm getting older, so I shouldn't, I'm getting older. Let me use my wisdom because I should. I find in my 60s that people think that you don't have a lot to offer anymore because you're old. And I find that like if I go out to a party and I want to go and meet people, I can almost see in their face when I go out and meet them that they think, oh, you know, it's this old person, you know, I'm going to contribute. And then when you start talking to them and they realise actually that you're doing a lot in life and you're still doing all these things, it almost shifts. But there's this perception that particularly women, as they get older, don't have a lot more to offer. Skincare wasn't something that I really got into till I hit my 40s because I've been blessed with, if I was to say oily skin, black skin doesn't tend to age as rapidly as Caucasian skin because our skin is naturally oily. But I think once I realized, I think once I hit 50 and I realized that I was losing collagen, that was something that I really did have to think about because black, white, oily, dry skin, collagen is the elasticity in your skin. So you really do need to take care of that. Without a shadow of a doubt, every day, every night, I cleanse, I tone and I moisturize because I think that's really important. And also what I've noticed is the best thing for my skin 
water. Well, I have a skincare routine today. You know, I used to just slap a bit of oil on as a moisturizer. Listen, today I make sure I really clean my skin. I put serums on my face today. Much as I don't mind having wrinkles, you know, I want to make the most of the skin I've got and the face I've got. So I'm going to take all the help I can get. Oh, and I put an SPF on, a 50 every day. That helps. Yes, we do, even if it's from the fact that we need to use sunscreen and support our skin and keep the elements of the harsh sun away from our skin. But I do like the fact that not only are we more aware about skincare, what I love is the fact that the skincare industry is now accommodating and has recognized women between 45 and 60. And the fact that we still want to look after our skin, we still want nice makeup, you know, we still want to be as beautiful as we want to be. And if that means not looking like the girl on the poster that endorses whatever skincare or beauty brand, that, that's fine. We still want to look good and feel good. <laughs> I am not aging gracefully. I never will. You can forget that here. Not happening. I'm going to age boldly, with passion, with energy, with excitement, with enthusiasm, with energy. I am going to age. Listen, I owe it to my younger self. I was so unconfident. I was so full of self-hatred and self-doubt in my 20s and 30s. I owe it to her and to my children and to you know, my, my clients, I owe, but I owe it to me to waste no more time trying to be graceful or demure or tiny or smaller than I am. I am grabbing life. Well, now that I take exercise a lot more seriously, sun, rain, sleet or snow, I put on my trainers, I put on a playlist and I go out for my walk. The fresh air and the elements around 6, 6.30 in the morning, they really do set me up. And that just makes me feel good. The amount of mornings I get up and I think to myself, I don't know if I can handle it today. And then I go out for a walk, something happens and it almost gives you the emotional, spiritual and intelligent tools to get through the day. That daily walk. That starts off my day. That gets me going. Yes, wearing SPF 50. Because I grew up in Australia and we did not only not wear SPF 50, we used to go out in the sun with baby oil on. So I wished I'd done that a lot earlier because I do have sunspots, I know. But not only that, even for your own you know, health, um, you know, with different sort of illnesses, cancers you can get. So I wished I'd done that a lot earlier and... I have been doing that as long as I can now. Okay, I w definitely wish I'd been looking after my skin <laughs> earlier on. Oh my gosh, in my 20s, I used to go to sleep full of beer um, with makeup all over my face and then in the, get in the shower the next morning and um, shove a bit of soap on and a cheap moisturizer and put more makeup on and go about my day. One of the things that I would say to my 13 and 16 year old self is if you're strong enough to go through this as a teenager without the adult emotional intelligence that's been putting on your shoulder you're going to make it as an adult you're going to be fine if i gave advice to my younger self i would be i would say stop caring about what other people think care less about what other people think and do what you want to do and there is no normal anymore. That would be it. One piece of advice to my younger self. I would say, please find a way to accept who you are, to learn to love who you are. Stop trying to impress everybody. God, this is making me really emotional. Stop worrying what they all think. And just start showing up as who you are. Let people in. Let people see how much pain you've been through. Because it's when you get vulnerable that you get free. And when you get vulnerable, people who genuinely love you will come into your life and they will stay. Yeah, that's what I'd say to my younger self. Just learn some self-acceptance. 
because like, look, it, it gets better. <laughs> it gets so much better. <laughs>